Hello everyone, welcome to Texture Myth. In this session, we will discuss another scenario for subquery. We will, we will see how we can utilize subquery in order to perform insertion operation. Okay, so although like uh, in short, you can say that we are going to discuss another use case for subquery. So to explain this process, what we will do, firstly, I will show you some table along with their data then we'll understand the requirement because once requirement is clear then you are uh, good to write your own query from scratch okay so statement is clear like we are going to uh, use subquery in order to perform data insertion into some table so let's see how we can use it so for that i will run one command here strsql which will execute the sql and here i will write uh, firstly I will show you the data so for that I will write one simple query select star from shermit1 which is my library name slash table name so here I will put the table name so let's say default default table if I hit enter you will see we have three records here uh, only one column is available in this table with three records where we have stored Virat, Rohit and KL names okay now what we want like we have already stored here three names but we want to insert few more uh, you can say default value or let's say it is blank okay in that case we want to insert some data or if there is any existing record then also it is fine because we are going we want to insert another default value but using subquery we don't want to use normal insertion process uh, we don't want to hit normal insert query we want it to insert the data with the help of subquery only why because if we are using subquery that means uh, the data or the value which we are getting from the file is not fixed it might get changed in later okay so at that time whenever we are hitting the in insert query it will pick the current data from that particular file S okay so for subquery we need another query so let me show you another table select star from sh share myth one slash and my table name is players so from this players table we, we can pick any value as a uh, default value right so what we will do we will write now a query okay and our objective is that we want to pass this name as a default value in our so let's see how we can do this so for that you just need to write insert insert or I have already copied this query and let me paste it here so you, you just need to write insert into then your table name so in our case like the table name is default table now if you are passing value to a specific column in that case you need to pass the uh, in this way like you can specify all the column here but if you are going to insert for all column then you can skip this this portion you can directly write the values as we do during the normal insert query right same process is followed here also so what we are doing we are inserting into default table and default value uh, although we are going to insert in the all day column because we have only one column in table but still just to show you the syntax I keep this value here now values this value usually what we do like we pass the value directly but here we are not going to pass it directly we are using one query so I'm using select player name from players table where player ID is 01 so instead of 01 I can simply write it as 10 so what it will do it will firstly execute the inner query and after inner query is executed it will fetch the player name from inner query and that player name will get inserted into the default table so let's hit enter you can see it is printing one rows inserted so let me check the data now select star from shermit1 slash and my table name is default default table so you can see one record has been inserted which is such an okay similarly if you would like to insert another record you can simply change the, your query let's say 7 
so this time it has inserted another repeated value which is no not a repeated value it is also a unique value ms okay so this is how we can utilize this uh, query sub query in order to perform insertion op in insertion operation okay so the main thing you need to learn is like whenever we are executing the sub query firstly it execute the inner query once inner query is executed then the result of inner query is passed to the outer query and then that result has been used by the outer query to perform the insertion operation okay so, fine now there might be one question how we can use the SQL RPG program this query inside the SQL RPG program so what you can do you can simply uh, like we are not going to use cursor here because we are not reading the data we are just performing the insertion operation so what you can do instead of writing uh, cursor you can skip this portion and simply after exec SQL you can write your query which is for insertion right this query so once you hit that query at this place then you can simply check for the basic validation like whether the query has been executed properly or not by checking the SQL state okay if it is returning zero then mean it means that query is executed successfully if it is returning other than zero then it means the query is not executed successfully okay and accordingly you can take your flow if you are not aware like how we can write uh, run the normal query because for cursor we have been using it from uh, couple of sessions right last couple of sessions but uh, maybe for insertion you are not aware so you can just go through the previous sessions uh, because we are doing this session in a proper sequence so if you are not aware of basic thing then I would recommend you to go and check out the all session from uh, uh, in a same sequence so that it would be easy for you to understand the concept okay because for now like we are just going to discuss only about the sub query in detail so that we can cover up multiple scenarios and all possible use case of uh, sub query another thing do you remember which type of uh, sub query is this yes so yes uh, it is a scalar sub query why scalar because from this query we are just fetching only one record this this inner query is returning only one record and if query returns only one record that means it is a scalar type of sub query scalar means one value as a result okay so this the, uh, it is also a kind of uh, interview question sometimes people ask like what do you mean by scalar query so you can simply answer that yes whenever a query is returning only one record from a table from inner query then we can say it is a scalar sub query okay and definition sub query is that like whenever we are executing query inside a query then that particular query is known as sub query so so far we have discussed like how we can use sub query in order to select the data in previous sessions right then we see how we can use the sub query in order to filter the data then we see how we can use the sub query for performing insertion and many more things right and similarly we will proceed with the same flow and discuss few more things regarding these sub query and later we will move to the next topic so yeah that's all for this session i hope it is clear to all of you in the next session we will discuss few more things so thank you for watching tech share method